Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's Steve Cap 5 juf How's everyone doing out there? What I wanted to show you uh, tonight was um, some things I'm working on. Uh, I had uh, some subscribers ask me a question about how do you change the repeater offset if you have a repeater that has a custom offset that's not the standard 600 kilohertz for your 2 meter or your 5 megahertz for your 70 centimeter. So that's taken a little bit of work, but I've figured out a way to do it. It's not the most eloquent eloquent way I'd like to do it, but it, it's a, it, it at least will allow you to... Uh, what I was hoping to do was be able to figure out a way to take those off offsets and, and program them specifically in the memory location so you could have your offsets carry across different memory locations. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but I am going to show you a way to take an existing memory location that you have set up for your default offset. For example, this repeater here, this is our club repeater, we have an offset here of a minus 600 kilohertz. So I'm going to show you real quickly how you can go into the menu and you can simply go in there and adjust that offset for this specific memory location. So what we're going to do first is we're going to press and hold the, or press the menu setup button. We're going to go down to number 84, and what 84 is, is 84 is ARS Automatic Repeater Shift 144 megahertz. So what this tells us here is, as long as this is turned on, any repeaters that you program will always default to the 600 kilohertz offset. Now what we're going to do is we're going to disable that. I'm going to press Enter. I'm going to use the multi knob and I'm going to change it to off and then I'm going to press enter again. Now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go here to number 82 and I'm going to tap select. Now watch what happens here. Now I can change the shift. Right now, note here it's at 600 kilohertz. I can change it to 1000. See how it's at 1000 now? If I want to change it to 500, I can do that too. So what this is doing is, this is basically allowing me to go in and manipulate this one memory location temporarily, and I can go in and do things with it. Now, when I'm done, what you can do is, you can go back and you can, if you change this setting right here to off, it will simply return the repeater back to the automatic repeater select which now is enabled. Now it's disabled. When it's disabled now this function right here has control of the offset so you can move that offset anywhere you want to. So we'll move it up to a thousand just for fun. and we'll just change it back. So right now, if I wanted to transmit with the one, one megahertz offset, I could do that. So I have taken this specific memory location and I have manipulated the offset. So let's go ahead and we'll put everything back to default and we'll do the UHF real quick. I'm going to change this back to 600. Back here, we're going to turn this off. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the two, the 70 centimeters. So I'm going to press this here. I'm going to select. Let's let's find a. Uh, let's find a uh, repeater. Got one in here. Let's see. Right there. We'll find this one. So we've got this. This has got a a five megahertz offset right here. But we can change that. So what we'll do here is we'll go down here and we'll change the number 85, we'll change that to off, and then we're going to go to number 83, now notice what happens. See how I can change that? <coughs> I can change that to a 6 megahertz offset if I want to. See how that's working there? So now that's, yeah, that's 6, six megahertz off. And if I want to go back and change it back down to 4, I can do that too. So that's how you manipulate it. Uh, let's see. Go back down here, change it to 4. Haven't really got this the way I want it, but if you want to try to 
use a repeater that has an alternate offset, this option will allow you to do it. This will allow you to change the offset between the receive and the transmit. Uh, we'll put it back to the default here. And there we go, there's there. And then we'll hit press enter. We'll go down here and turn this off. And everything's back to normal. So what I'm showing you here is you can take, go ahead and program the repeater in as a standard uh, offset. Whether for 2 meter it would be 600 kilohertz plus or minus 6 or plus or minus. Uh, for two, 70 centimeters, it'll be plus or minus 5 megahertz. Then what you'll do is you, you take advantage of that setting, these settings right here, and you can go in and manipulate that one specific memory channel, and it will allow you to change the offset. So, again, it's not a permanent fix, but at least if you... It's a very simple step to get to. It's just I haven't figured out a way to make those repeater shifts unique to the memory location. It seems to be when you make one change, it changes all of them. So anyway, hope this helps. I'll still research it, but I just want to share with everyone what I discovered and uh, maybe it'll help you with the repeater shifts. All right, 73 and I uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, have a great day. And uh, oh, don't forget to change your clocks ahead, 73.